There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. YouTube, this is the monthly free entry giveaway tournament. I give away 50 bucks worth of prizes every single month. You could join for free. It is single elimination. No deckless submission. Play anything you want. Game one, two, three, round one, two, three, four, five. Anything. Every single month. How do you join? This is how you join. Click the join button. You're now in. That's it. Connect your Discord and Twitch. User settings. Click connections. Accept Twitch. You're actually going to do it with YouTube. You are now in the giveaway. You also have access to daily, weekly, and monthly events. Through the Anytime Tournaments, Giveaway Tournaments, Meta Championship Series, Meta Weeklies every single week just by joining. New player help. First place decks all day, every day from the Anytime Tournaments. June COG decks or any month we are in. Contribute or lurk. You don't have to speak. You can speak if you want. Get good. Get her done. Hajime. All right, let's get the voice acting, all that. I know you all want it. I know you all want it. Grand finals. Is this really going to be sub terror versus sub terror? You what, mate? Let's boost this up a I bit. Draw. I draw. Perfect. I activate Normal summons Gom Sentry. Gom Sentry, once return, flip itself face down. Every time you flip down a card, okay. you could special summon a sub terror behemoth from your hand. Once per turn, you could flip that sub terror behemoth face down. You could then summon another sub terror behemoth after you flip that one face down. Uma on flip will banish a card your opponent controls, a monster that is. Sets two back row cards, his entire hand depleted in a single turn. I'm working out and I saw DLM mine in the chat and had to follow. Akirik, thank you so much for the support. Love it. Normal summons a Fuma under a dojo. Dojo semi-limited to two, so opening up with that card is quite lucky. You're supposed to open it up in less than half of your duels. But Sao does not care. Normal summoning a Fuma alongside a Kizan. We got two counters on the dojo. We are expecting something from Papilo. No, nothing. He now has a Shien. Shien once per turn can negate any card your opponent activates. Spell slash trap once per turn. Or it could be an Armades. It's a Shien. Names are swapped up. Okay, I'll fix it. Okay, Sal's at the top. Not a big deal. Thank you very much. Swings into a treacherous. Wants to go in and go in on Golem Sentry because if Golem Sentry is flipped face up from a flip summon only, it will send Shien back to the extra deck. Double treacherous. Just like that. Negate the first, get hit by the second. You fool! Targeting his own Golem Sentry and the Xi'an. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Good play. Double treacherous. Double easy win. He does not even want to flip up an attack. Why not? Because Uma is at 2700 defense and only 2k attack. Papilo could definitely make an epic comeback with the help of Dojo. Dojo will allow him to summon any 6 sand from the deck. He needs to be very careful though. There you go. Return of the 6 sand. Special summon a 6 sand from the grave. Shien, back to the field. He still doesn't have an out to the Uma. Unless he plays Uwawu. Oh, he played that in the wrong order. Un oh, no, he didn't have enough room to activate it, so he did play it correctly. Dojo, come forth. Uwawoo! Uwawoo! That's how you do it! United, draw a card. Observe! Special summons and Anishi just like that. Lethal! How do you win? If you read Uwawoo, if it attacks a face-down position monster... It destroys it before flipping. So no Uma effect for you. I cannot believe he has survived through a treacherous trap hole for victory. Good plays. Hmm, let's see. Oh, it is not an Ancient Gear deck. It is a Neos deck with beatdown. 
Neos Fusion sending a Bacon Sayer from the deck to the grave. Come forth, brave Neos from the extra deck. He is protected from battle, one attack, and also he's protected from destruction. And yeah, he did have four cards in his hand and he activated a Neos, so that's not ideal. What that tells me is he has two Elemental Hero Neos in his hand. That's a horrible hand. It's my turn. I draw. Draw. Hmm, let's see. Rips another Neos Fusion. The other Elemental Hero is probably from the hand. Probably from the hand. Unless he picked the wrong card. He opened up double Elemental Hero Neos in the hand, but that's okay. He also drew into his second Neos Fusion to make up for that horrible hand. Beat down! Plus 600 onto both monsters. What's the face down? Wow. Wow, what a brick. What a brick. A Kazaru, not even a Fuma. Are you kidding me? 3,300. If he would have 80 changered the Kazaru, he would have won the duel. Can you believe that? He had lethal. Missed lethal. Here I go. It's okay. It's okay. I summon a monster. Battle. Go. <laughs> oh my god. How could your hand be that bad? No! Sal in an epic game two victory takes it. Loomis, you fool. I should have never followed your Loomis, strategy. you fool. It's all your fault, you beanstalk. Bumpkin. You beanstalk bumpkins! You in the classroom. They don't work in the real world. Game three time. I'm setting a car. All right, Papila I'm going first. Here I go. Yeah. I summon a monster. Uma Kizan. My turn's complete. Kizaru, but Make with back row this time. Once Smart again, man. no Fuma, no legendary oh. six sand with it, no Kizan with it. This is not good. Sal did not open up a Neos Fusion. Normal summon a Glyph. Glyph on summon. Destroy a back row card. Takes out a World Legacy Clash. Does not use it to banish off the Kizaru. Is he going to follow up with a Neos Fusion? Of course he does. Neos Fusion. Sets Neos Fusion to check for a Cosmic Cyclone. It gets Cosmic Cyclone, and then he no longer has a Neos Fusion. Big brain. Here's an example of proper dueling technique. I special summon a monster. Bacon to the grave. He's protected from destruction and an attack. Does he have a dual wield? Dual wield me. Let's battle. Ready for your next lesson? It's obviously not dual wield. He would have sent life to the grave. Took the bait. World Legacy Clash. You fool. Banish the Kazaru. Reduce the attack to a thousand. Also, it loses its attack. No more attack. Remember, he's protected from one attack and one destruction. Is it worth protecting from destruction, though? Is it worth protecting from an attack? He might protect the Glyph, though. Here I go. I summon a monster. ASAP Pacheco, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you for that 100 bits. Treacherous! Take out the Fuma. Take out the Kazaru. Fuma will act. Whoa, oh, no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm not going for that Fuma. That would have been a very bad play. Oh, boy. Is he going to draw into a Kizan? Draw! A He's drawing a single card instead of waiting for two. Set Sets the newly drawn card. Goes to battle. Gonna swing into the Brave Neos. Will he negate with the Bacon Saver? No, he did not even attack. Nope. Not attacking. Change my mind. Oh, okay. Dual wield. Now, it, it was good that he did not attack because it would give Brave Neos its effect to search for a Neos Fusion. Then he would play a Neos Fusion. Why give him a free Neos Fusion? Attack. No. He now has his Neos Fusion for the following turn. Okay, FM Papilo is going to have to do something big. Fuma effect activate. 
I activate my monster. He doesn't have Kazaru. He already has it in the grave. You would miss the timing, though. Here I go. I special summon a monster. Inishi. Inishi is perfect for that follow-up Neos Fusion. Mm, let's see. From he can't take for lethal. Sell the mad lad. Exactly lethal. You could have summoned it in defense. No. <laughs> oh no. Just like that. Summons his monster in attack position instead of defense. Lethal. E. Con. Take. Fool. Papilo, you played well. You're a top tier player. Sal has won it all. Sal, you have bested 349 players. You are the giveaway champion. Damn. YouTube. 351 players. We got the top decks for you. Thank you, Jade Hex, for the article. You could easily join this as I showed you at the start of the video. Nerver. Nerver played Parasite Infestation in the top four and also Sealed Tombs, a Shizu Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is an OG deck. I believe it's kind of coming back if people are going to play Six Sam. If you're playing Six Sam, I'm playing this. And Six Sam was so popular in today's tournament. Just desserts. DD Warrior in the Middle Age mech deck. This is like anti blue eyes. You swing DD Warrior into an Ancients or a Dawn Knight. Banish. Banish the Dawn Knight or Ancients. So that's better than DD uh, Assailant, for example. World Legacy Clash. We got Twister. Well made. Wow. Black Luster Sacred Soldier with an AD Changer in the Red Eyes deck. Lil Hormagon, second place. Within the entire top four, only played a single deck. Everyone else played multiple decks. Lil Hormagon, nope. Stuck to Six Sam. Return to the Six Sam. Special summon to Six Sam from the grave. Good plays with that. First place, So. So with the first place victory in the semifinals, played Sub Terror. Standard, standard build. Well built. Good plays. Seal Tombs, Koka Miru, not playing Switcheroo. Very standard, well played. What's not standard is the Urn Knight and the Sandman in the main deck. Very interesting. And then we got the top in the grand finals. These are the decks of you. Wow. What a side decker. Are you kidding me? He knew that Lil Hormagon would not switch his deck. So he literally side decked with Warrior Elimination. What a little cheater. Good job, so. Smart, smart. We did not see it though. Beatdown. Neos. Not using Seal Tombs. Not using Koka Miru. Not using Mash Tribute. Not using Switcheroo. Beatdown with Triple Glyph. On summon, destroy a back row card. So good job, so. Good job, everyone who partaked in this tournament. Every single month, we have a giveaway, and you're all invited. Thank you.